I open the book. Hello everyone, it's Reverend Isaac here. I said, I said hello everyone. Is anyone there? Are you watching this? Are you, can you hear me? Are you there? I hope you're there and I hope, hope you're listening to me. It's difficult to know with me recording this and, and sending it to you to watch in the classrooms. It's not like I'm with you in person, is it? And I'm able to see you, that you're actually listening to me. So I hope you're all listening really well. But, uh, you know, when we pray to God, when we talk to God in prayer, sometimes it can feel a little bit like that. I wonder if you've ever felt like that before. When we, when we close our eyes and maybe put our hands together and talk to God, have you ever wondered? Is God really listening to us? Is he really there? And does he really want to answer our prayers? Does, will, he, will he give us what we ask for in prayer? Well, that's a, that's a really interesting question, isn't it? It's a big question to ask. How do we know that God is listening to us when we talk to him in prayer? Well, Jesus, as you know, told a number of stories some fantastic stories. They're called parables. And we've been thinking about those parables recently, haven't we? And Jesus told a parable that answered that very question. How do we know that God is going to listen to us when we pray? And, and do we know that he's going to want to answer us when we pray? And he loves to hear us talk to him. We're going to hear about that parable today. Mr P is going to tell you this special parable from Jesus that will tell us all the answers to those questions. So I hope you're listening well as you listen to this parable. I am indeed. And I'm going to read from my special book of parables. And the parable is called The Visitor at Midnight. Do you know what midnight is? It's 12 p.m. That's really, really late. And it's not often we're up at that time. We're normally fast asleep. The visitor at midnight. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. He wanted them to understand that they should not be afraid to ask God for anything they needed. So he told them a parable that went something like this. One night at midnight, a man had a visitor. So he yawned and he rubbed his eyes and he opened his door to his friend. And his friend was hungry, but the man had no bread. So he went and banged on his neighbor's door. I need three loaves of bread, he called. And the man's neighbour yawned and rubbed his eyes, but he did not open the door. Don't bother me, the neighbour called from his bed. The door is locked. My children are asleep. They're here in bed with my wife and me. I don't want to wake everyone up. But I have a visitor, explained the first man. I know it's late, but I have no food for him. Give me something, please. And what did the neighbour do? He got up, he opened the door and he gave the bread to his friend. And that's the story that Jesus told. And Jesus went on to say to his disciples, why? And then Jesus said, because even though it was late and inconvenient, I wouldn't want somebody knocking on my door at midnight. And the children were asleep. The first man was not afraid to ask for what he needed. And Jesus said, so I say to you, ask and you will receive. Seek 
and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. What a wonderful parable. Let's go back to Reverend Isaac now and see if he can help us think about what it means. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. That is a fantastic parable from Jesus, isn't it? And it's wonderful to know that we can come to God and we can speak to him and we can tell him anything we like and we ask him anything we like anytime and he'll always listen to us. So we're going to do that just now. If you'd like to join me by praying, you can close your eyes, maybe put your hands together, maybe put them in your laps so that we're not fidgeting or distracted. And then when we've closed our eyes, if you want to, we can talk to God and know that he's listening to us. So let's pray. Father God, thank you that you are there, that your ears are open to us and you love to hear us speak to you. You love to hear us talk to you. Lord, teach us to pray to you with boldness, with openness. And Lord, we pray that uh, as we speak more and more to you, we would bring our worries and our hopes to you, trusting that you will answer all that we ask to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I agree, amen. Imagine if you were at home and you got a visitor at midnight and that you opened the door and it was God. God was visiting you. I wonder what you'd say to him. Well, in today's prayer space activity, you are going to have an A5, A6, sorry, piece of paper. You're going to fold it very neatly in half like this. So you make a mini card. You're then going to decorate the front to look like a door. Now my door's a little bit plain and a little bit boring, but if you want yours to be jazzy or special or glittery or reflecting of your personality, then you can. And then inside, I'd like you to write a prayer. A prayer of words that you think you would say to God if he knocked. On your door because the parable taught us that God is there God is listening God will answer my prayer says this dear God please help me to be a good head teacher remind me to be thankful for all I have please look after my school and family amen I'd love to see lots of visitor <clears throat> excuse me at midnight doors in your prayer spaces this week enjoy <laughs>